the uh, the one change that I would make. Um, we kind of I'm being a bit selfish here, and it would be to, to every country in the world that signs up to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. That's because it's so difficult for Amnesty to split one individual right and rate it higher than any other. Now, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, that was formed in the, uh, just after the Second World War. And the big problem is that very few countries have actually signed up to that convention. And we would want every country not just to sign up, but to actually agree to it. So that would be looking at the end of things such as torture, the end of the death penalty, proper justice for all, and free education for all, for primary school kids. And there's, there's a, so many different rights that at Amnesty we would cherish and put on an equal par with every single one. And so it's really difficult to just say that's the one change because there are so many that we'd want to make. So if we're going to put for one thing, let's have every country in the world sign up and implement the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I think the big thing for us would be, that would be seeing people start to realise that they have rights and responsibilities in their lives and that there are so many different issues that are still happening across the world. You have the issue of torture, you have illegal detention camps in far too many countries such as Afghanistan, in North Korea, in Sri Lanka and all those sort of things need to be fundamentally addressed. And to split that away from other rights such as the for the freedom of expression when you see people being persecuted for their own opinions, most notably across the Middle East right now, and also in places like China. And to say that their rights are, any, are worth any less than people that are suffering in detention camps or whatever would be remiss of amnesty, because we have to really cherish and respect and push for those rights and those human rights and issues and concerns that we've had throughout our 50 years of our history. The big change really would be looking at individuals and realising that they actually have much more power than you think. Because one person call then can be escalated to another person, another person, another person. And that can make a huge difference and really can make governments change their ways and their opinions. Amnesty was formed in 1961 by an appeal for to, to get two Portuguese prisoners of conscience released. And it was the weight of people that came in and supported and recognised that call that made a difference and got those two people released ultimately. And there have been so many other cases like that for our Amnesty's history and that's really where the power of the individual can make such a fundamental difference. So don't forget, don't think that you're just because you're one person that you can't do anything because you really can and governments do really listen. And we've heard of cases in people in countries such as Burma where there have been people made a, a proof of appeal for people to write to the prison to ask for their release or for them to stop being tortured. And when that prison has released, uh, received uh, 10,000 letters, which is the kind of norm now, that their, their conditions have changed. So we really can make a difference. It really can be that one individual that changes the, uh, the way of how human rights are respected across the globe.